Hello everybody, I'm Shadows Rain and you are awesome. And today we are going to be going over my classes, all of them. And we're just going to basically break down what they all are and what I use them for. So we're going to break this video down into two little sections. One's going to be a really quick one. The other one's going to be obviously the long one. The class is what you actually want to see. But to actually see my classes, you've got to understand how they work with each other. So I've got three types of classes. Number one is what I call a one-stop or as you can see here, a Red Bull Strat. Uh, that is when I found a gun off the floor, and I'm happy to use that in combination with an assault rifle. So in this case, it would be the SCAR, um, but it can be for the likes of a Grau or an M4A1. Something that's very versatile, something that can do a lot of damage. We'll get round to that later. The second type of class is going to be an overkill class. We're all familiar with these. This is where you pick your two guns that you are going to be taking into Verdansk. Then upgrading into Ghost or Restock or whatever you're using on your second loadout box later on. The third one is what I call an enhancement. So say I've went for an overkill class um, and it was a sniper map but now it's a lot more of a tighter map. I'll then go into a shotgun. Vice versa if I'm, a, I'm, in, if I'm in downtown but a circle drags me out to somewhere which has got a lot more open ground. I'll have a ghost sniper class. Um, to then drop the shotgun for so that's the three classes that I've like the three ways I build my classes It's a good theme. It works well for me personally, uh, and I feel as if I'm prepared for any situation So we'll start we'll just we'll just go in descending order shall we so the first one is the sniper ghost class uh, Pretty bog standard sniper rifle. It's a HDR. Uh, I like me focus. It's got me nice aim and stability stock uh, as I mentioned when I was talking about other weapons I'm not really too fussed about the aim down sight speed on my sniper rifles usually because I put myself in a position where I take the first shot anyway uh, I'm not in a position where I like to be on the back foot and I, when I do snipe I like to be sniping from afar if I'm in a, a position where I'm benefiting from a car 98 and not a HDR then I do just prefer using something else which has got a bit it might not have the same dropping potential as a, as a as a car 98 but at least I can still spit damage. I like an Amax or a DMR FAL. So that's just kind of how I how I how I process it. I'm running that with a Diamati because why not? It's really good up close. Uh, perks are cold blooded ghost amped. And I use proximity mines on any class of a sniper. Like I say, when I snipe in, doesn't necessarily mean I'm camping, but I like to own the building I'm in. Usually I'll have an AR in combination with that. So I don't want to have the fear of getting caught out because usually when people are pushing rooftops they've got smgs they've got shotguns basically they've got things that can deal with me so yeah that's just something to bet to bear in mind uh, the next thing on the list it's going to be the fal and mp5 class now this class in particular uh, this is the sweaty class uh, you know how it goes one of the highest dps guns in the game Followed by one of the highest DPS submachine guns in the game, uh, the Modern Warfare one. So I am just running this in that form, in that configuration. So an optic, a barrel, monolith, you know how, a typical Shadows Rain FAL, uh, you know how it goes. MP5, I've went for the subsonic. When I do pick people off, I don't want, if I'm, usually when I have to get up close, I need stealth and, you know, having that it's going to help me with 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 that the tack laser the 45 round mag and frangible disabling now that is something that i am just experimenting with sometimes i would put uh, say a optic on there or a under barrel usually a commando foregrip on this um but i am just experimenting with that and i might have a video about that in the coming days you don't know but for now that's my mp5 uh, loadout and i'm using that with semtex and stun that's a repeated theme i used to be using smokes in a lot of the videos you may have noticed but at the moment i'm just enjoying pushing people really hard and just hitting them with smokes so sorry hitting them with stuns so that's just kind of how i see it so i've got my eod me over killing me amped on that one the next is gunnir uh, the staff of odin obviously here's the odin and i'm running this in the thickest boy combination possible this is a enhancement class so if i've got myself a gun like a submachine gun from an overkill class and i'm quite happy to, to rock with an odin i will uh, likewise if i found something on the floor that i like i can use this this can double up as a as a one-stop class as well uh, and then i'm running that with the, with the combat knife because the odin lacks speed like something chronic However, th these knives are actually really effective and not enough people use them in my opinion. So that's just something for you to bear in mind. Next is the Red Bull Strat. This is the one stop. Um, so this gun has everything that I need on it. It's got a Deagle because the Scar at super long ranges doesn't do as well. Uh, whereas the Deagle can complement that damage at range. So if I'm putting a lot of bullets into someone um, and I need a heavy damage follow up, 
Deagle can do that for me. Um, so <laughs> I used to have the, the Green Tracer Pack Ram. This came with it. We used to call that the Clap Gun. Uh, and this we called the Clap Cannon. <laughs> um, so yeah. So this is just basically a, a typical long range enhancement to help me out. Using Tracker, Ghost and EOD on this one with Semtex and a Stun Grenade. Goes as follows. Crossbow because everyone loves a meme. Only thing special about the crossbow, so I use the 16 strand cable and strength the 28. 16 doesn't really harm your bullet velocity that much, and it makes the weapon so much more accurate. So that's just something for you to bear in mind. Uh, I use that with a grab because the grab's just good at all ranges. Again, standard perks, standard equipment there. Second Amendment. You'll see a lot of this one on streams. This is the not so meta meta class. Um, so on this one. Sorry, mate. Uh, on this one, we have got the AMAX, which is run in a typical AMAX fashion. I like these sights. They're nice, big, chunky, thick boys. Um, and they're just really generally quite good. Um, so that's just something for you to have a little wonder into. I like it, this with the Commando foregrip. And yeah, it's just generally a nice... It's just a nice little gun, isn't it? Oh, that's my phone buzzing. Apparently, I've got someone adding me as a friend. I've got no idea who they are. Uh, and I'm running that with a Jack-12. This is what you're really interested in, though, isn't it? Uh, I'm running this with a Tactical Suppressor. I haven't unlocked the monolithic yet. Uh, running that with a Long Barrel, which is all good. I don't even think that is the longest barrel. Tack Laser, Merc 4 Grip, and 32 Round Drum. It just... I want to get... <laughs> I want to unlock a meme, which is here. And that is the 8... It's, it's the incendiary slug rounds, uh, and I think that would be really fun to use the meme. So, <laughs> this is an awful class. If I'm dicking about with something for a video, or if I'm dicking about with something for a... For, like, a challenge or whatever, or a create a class that, I've, that a subscriber will give to me, this will be the class slot that I use it with. Usually an overkill class, but can be a one-stop, just depending on what I get given. Uh, also, don't try that class. Awful. Both really good options, but not together. Uh, the Marksman. So this is my overkill sniper class. Uh, and then this one, I'm using the FFAR. I've recently changed this from a RAM, actually. Um, but I really like this little setup. I think it's good. I think it's fast. It gives me everything the RAM can and just a little bit more, I feel. Uh, and really good. HDR, the exact same one you saw earlier. Uh, when I'm using that with proximity mine, stun grenade. And your usual arrangement of the perks. Uh, I don't really use EOD that as much as I usually do. Uh, I do like EOD. Obviously, I've got it on a lot of classes, but I, I do like the cool blooded aspect as well because people I'm starting to notice are picking up thermals again, uh, slowly but surely. So it just helps me out with that. Ghost recovery. This is the most important class in my loadout. So, the reason I say that is because if I have got an overkill class, I will go to Ghost on this one. And why? Because of this thing right here. That is, uh, that is fully loaded. Now, if I Gulag and I come back on a round 5, I can pick this gun up, have max ammo with it, and just basically go about. There is a video upcoming where we pick up a win using this strategy. So, keep an eye out for that and make sure you subscribe for that too if you're not done so already. Uh, and this is just basically the same AMAX as before, but without the without the attachment. And I'm rocking that with the dual wield Renettis, uh, just because it gives me something up close as well. But yeah, it doesn't matter what situation you're in. If you've got your overkill class, even if you've not got full ammo, or your teammates not got full ammo, what we'll do a lot here at the A1A is I'll drop my ammo. Say I've got 180 bullets, I'll drop it, go to my box, and I'll then have 210. And then that 180 I've just dropped. My teammates can share amongst themselves, so I just think that's a really good way of going about it. Uh, and this is the pocket shotty, so this is an enhancement. So if I've got a sniper rifle, and I'm not on a sniper rifle map anymore, I will pick up this. Uh, I use tracker because it's it's really good to have a tracker on a shotgun class or an SMG class. So that is just something to think about as well. Also, this shotgun really act really effing powerful actually. <laughs> that's why I'm using it. So I'm using it with the no stock, the long barrel, the marauder. Um, a grip and the dragon's breath. It's got the power of the model. It kind of feels like, but the spammability of of say an, an origin. Um, so it it's not as fast or as strong, but I feel as if it's a good mix in between, where you can really punish people in two two shots. And you you'll drop most people at good range. So give it a go if you haven't done so already. But in quads, this turns into a SMG. 
Um, so, yeah, just help me out in a pinch. But, guys, that is my classes. That's 10 minutes of your time, believe it or not. I thought this video was only going to be a five-minute piece. But, yeah, that's how my classes work. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Remember, there's only one really sweaty class in here. Well, two if you count the one that we're looking at now. But the rest of them, I think, are a good blend of fun, skill, and power. And that's just kind of how I like to build my class. Have a little bit of everything. A little bit of little, little bit of everything, you know. Um, but yes, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you liked it, make sure you hit that like button. And until then, I will see you on Wednesday with the next upload. Peace. Every time I say I'm going to upload on this day, it never happens. I need to work on that. So it'll either be Tuesday or Thursday. No, my luck. <laughs> anyway, guys.